Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we look, 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 we got an arrest warrant, man. You know what I'm saying? Another arrest warrant, man. You know what I mean? Um, uh, and, and it's it's for Boosie. It's for Boosie. We're gonna tell you a little bit about that. All right. Um, uh, we also got um information from the the 14 page indictment, man. We're gonna go a little bit uh into that. We got the game on um the diddler trying to get uh uh Drake killed. We gonna we gonna we gonna speak on that a little bit. Murked. Did I say um? Murked. That's what I meant. Okay. Soldier Boy and what he would have did, man. What well, he would have been the first rapper to do. Uh, we got um folks deleting they look, they do deleting their tweets like crazy, man. We're gonna get a little bit into that, man. Young Miami and um uh, Freddie P telling us what he witnessed. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap, so want to give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go and touch that to your check this out, man. Freddie P has spoken out on what he witnessed and what he understands Puff to be. You know what I mean? And it's pretty blunt, okay? Um, I want you to take a listen to what he had to say. It's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Take a listen real quick. Let me tell you what Puffy was. And what a lot of them is. They mediators. What they call them mediators, right? Uh, where you got to go. They go-betweens. So you got the you got the Leos who who scared to, to approach the, the thugs like that. But did he from that world? So I could intermediate, I could get percentages from negotiating and making this deal, but you gotta give up that butt. You gotta give up that butt and royalties. And I can change your family life. You know why? Because he had to give up that butt. People don't understand. That's the reason. That's why that's the reason Puffy don't want to give nobody any artist he deal with. He tell you, I ain't gonna make it hard for you. You know, I had to do this. I had. He wants you to endure. He endured. And I felt bad in a sense because he was only trying to feed his family. You get what I'm saying? And he became a victim, and it turned him into a monster just trying to hide his own secrets and not living his truth. And now he in prison. He's literally assaulting men. You get what I mean? Like. It may be common nowadays, but for a man to walk up and slap your ass or let me get your number or come to my hotel room, that's not normal. I ain't never heard no shit like that in my lifetime for no man to approach you like that. And he's done it several times. I just pray for his daughters, man. And um, all the people around him who was protected for so long, <laughs> you gotta come outside right now. The Stevie J's, you still wanna fight? You still wanna fight Stevie J? <laughs> I put out another dang dudes. You still want to fight 50, homie? I don't think so. Now y'all, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, back to what I was saying about, that's why they act so tough. They act so tough because they know there's whispers about them. So when I see you in person, I got to show you. I, you up, I'm gangster, I'm this and that. That's an act, man. Real gangster can see you through all that shit. Mm -hmm. Look, that's the classic hurt people, hurt people, ain't it? Ain't, ain't, ain't that the classic hurt people, hurt people? The man said, <laughs> the man was said to be hazed, right? I'm talking about the diddler. He was said to be hazed, and now he also wants to put everyone else through a similar hazing process, if not worse, which is par for the course. Like, when a person is damaged, right, and it hasn't been given, that damage hasn't been given time to process nor to heal, and, and the person is quickly placed in a position of power. Then they relay the damage, okay? See, if, if the process goes from damaged to getting power, the cycle, con the cycle will continue back to damage again. You follow what I'm saying, man? Like, damage, get power, then damage others. This is opposed to damage, process, heal, then get power. You see, the process is important, believe it or not, because all of us find ourselves somewhere in that loop, okay? Like most, if not all of us have been damaged and most, if not all of us have found ourselves in positions where we didn't process the damage or heal from the damage. And most, if not all of us have been given some sort of power, be it at work or having kids, having power or influence in a relationship. And we become monsters to those that are under our power and influence you following what i'm saying man so we all stand at risk of being some type of monster without the processing and the healing part of the damage part if we process the damage that we've experienced and we heal from the damage or figure out how to heal from the damage then we'll grow from the damage and we'll not relay it to those under us see is look this is this happens in relationships all the time even in a relationship where there's a power dynamic if a person has been damaged from someone that had power over them, they're gonna start to um, exercise that damage 
to the person that they're in a relationship with, man. This stuff is very important, man. And these are all things that we should watch and learn from. You follow what I'm saying? A lot of y'all think we just like doing hip hop news and that's what this whole channel is about, man. It's about the psychology of human behavior. That's what this, this channel is about, the psychology of human behavior. Look, it's even possible to have a platform or a channel and abuse the subscribers. You know that, right? I be look, I be trying to be mindful of stuff like that. Let me let me let me hit you with this. If a person has power and they don't have any humility, they most likely are going to be abusive. I, I just told you what I just told you. Okay, that's why pride is so horrible. I hate pride. You follow me? And there are no versions of pride that I don't find disgusting. I hate all forms of pride. Uh, look, now I don't know who this next young man is, right? But he's speaking on Young Miami because we haven't, I haven't, I mean, I don't think I've heard too much from Young Miami lately. And you know, my part of my job, right, is to scour through the internet, finding these stories for you so that we can discuss. You follow what I'm saying? But I haven't really seen anything coming from Young Miami. And trust me, I be on this joint all day, all night looking for this kind of stuff. You follow what I'm saying? I just want to know what people are saying so we can speak on it. What they're saying out loud, not in secret. What they're saying out loud in public so we can speak on their public declarations. But I haven't seen anything from Young Miami. So let me play this young man for you. I don't know who he is. I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out who he is. And I've been kind of looking through. I can't find who it is. All right. If you know who he is, though, um, put it in the comments below so we can make sure we um, give him the props on the statement that he made, uh, because I thought it was relatively interesting and is definitely um, is, is, is perfect for you. Take a listen to what this man had to say on Young Miami. Take a listen. But you notice that now it's all falling down. Young Miami is when Young Miami was running around telling y'all females, get you an older dude. That was a virtual sick. Who has better bait to use than somebody like Young Miami? But you're a part of this enterprise. You're the sex worker. But trying to glorify it as you're some trophy side chick. Now you got all of these little 21, 20 year old girls trying to sleep with dudes that's in their fifties. Cause you got people like young Miami who are getting prostituted and they're trying to make it seem cool. And then you want to come out and cry. How? This is the problem I have with today's society, but not tell these young girls, I'm sorry, I lied to you because I knew it wasn't right. Knowing what they was doing in these freak offs, bragging about it. Yo, my life is great. Now you want to come out and cry when shit really get real. Okay. We got to stop celebrating this shit. I felt what bro was saying. See, the diddler did not operate in isolation. He did not, he did not get as far as he got on his own steam. There were all kinds of moving parts and pieces that were involved in everything he did. You follow what I'm saying? If we're talking about, look, we're talking about, he's being accused of a racketeering charge, or organized crime. Organization requires lots of moving pieces. And if we're talking about ex trafficking, you know what I'm talking about. If we're talking about trafficking, bro, then that means we're talking about people that are used to recruit other people. Now, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, I want to know who bro is that, that said that because I found that to be relatively uh, interesting and fascinating. Okay. And now, and now, look, we see a lot of people just kind of slid off to the side and was like, don't, don't, don't look over here. No, 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 no. We want to look over there, too. OK, look, look, look into the channel if you want. Look into my channel. See if we <laughs> see if we related to the diddler. We're not. OK, everybody that's coming out saying. See, that's why I even like not to even belabor it. Right. Or, or to go off to the side. But Meek Mill, even when Meek Mill makes a statement like, yo, I wonder why all these CEOs are, are um, uh, uh, stepping down. Me Meek Mill saying something? Anybody that says something, Ray J said something, Meek Mill said something. You follow what I'm saying? All the people that say something, obviously you'd be like, wait, 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 let me let me just double check you because you, you actually had the audacity to say something, right? So you look into them and then you realize, oh, they don't got nothing, okay? When Ray J, Ray, Ray J spoke about, he said he ain't seen nothing at the party. Maybe he left early. You follow what I'm saying? Personally, if Ray J said he ain't seen nothing, and he said it loud and proud, and they talking about they got videos of people, I'ma assume Ray J ain't on them tapes. You follow what I'm saying? If Meek is like, hey, I wonder why all these CEOs are stepping down. It's almost like you laid it out too easily, Meek. Like, it, it's, it's easy fodder for folks to crack jokes, but in Meek saying, I wonder why these CEOs are stepping down, it's almost as if he's, he's daring you to look into it. Under which circumstance, I would assume, well, maybe he ain't on them tapes neither. You follow what I'm saying? It's the people that are unusually quiet. And it makes sense for a lot of people to say, I'm not going to say nothing because I just don't want to get involved. I don't want I don't want to be associated in any way, shape or form. But there's a lot of people that are like, I ain't did none of that. So 
you know what I'm saying? So, um, well, actually, we're going to go into it in a second. But look, um, th- let me give you this. This is crazy, right? Now, we're seeing Usher, right? The artist Usher has deleted approximately 7,000 of his tweets. He's deleted his posts. Him and the artist Pink have both deleted a bunch of their posts. Now, let me just say this, okay? Any, like, um, anybody can delete anything, but everything that any celebrity does at this moment is going to be looked at, like, with a microscope, okay? Um, if, if, if I'm a big time celebrity, right? And if I'm, I'm like, oh, sure, you know, let me go, go ahead and delete posts. I'm assuming somebody's gonna say, yo, 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 you know, if you delete stuff in the midst of this whole Diddy thing and the Epstein list type, Diddy list type stuff, freak off list type stuff, it's gonna look crazy if you delete a bunch of stuff. So you may want to consider what you're doing and da, da 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 da. And then, you know, so I mean, that's what it would. That's that's what I would assume a team would have told me if I was a, a celebrity. You follow? You follow me? Let me just say this. Anything any celebrity says right now is going to look sus. Real talk. I just know that's what it is. Anything a celebrity is going to say is going to look sus. If it sounds weird or if, or if people suspect them to be connected. If you're deleting stuff, it looks like you're hiding stuff. OK, I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying it looks like you are to a lot of people. Random statements that people make will seem like they were secret cries for help and whatnot. And the crazy thing is they might have been. Look, look, look. <laughs> The only way we can know for sure is if someone says, hey, look, if you go back to what I was speaking when I was speaking about X, when I said that, I was really saying this. That's the only way we can know 100 percent. OK, take a look at this clip that Say Cheese added to uh, Usher's um, uh, deletion of his post. Take a look. Don't hit me no more. Kick in the door, wave in the four four. All you heard was Papa Don't hit me no more. Let's go. Kick in the door, wave in the four four. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. See, say cheese. Why you added that clip with with bro <laughs> and and the diddler? You know what I'm saying? Look, man, look, look, let me just throw this out here. I think we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of activity. And think about it, man. A lot of people want to put Diddy and his antics behind them. OK, let me just throw this out here. If people were related to Diddy, had terrible um, situations happen with Diddy. I remember when Mace said that um, when 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 Biggie got murked and stuff like that and, and folks wanted to come and get him and, and Mace had a hide and he was like, man, this is just too much. I just hate all of this. Right. The celebrities are people, man. Believe it or not, celebrities are people and a lot of celebrities want to put the diddler and his antics behind them. OK, and and some of the things that Diddy is said to have done to his victims, think about it. They're demoralizing. They are dehumanizing. And the last thing a lot of these victims want are their kids having a knowledge of the depraved acts that were inflicted upon them. You follow what I'm saying? So a lot of people like they like a lot of people may be deleting it because they just like, I don't want nothing to do with anything. I don't want anybody to be able to pull because, you know, what people will do. They'll take old posts and old text and then say, oh, you know what? Maybe this really meant that. And they'll do that. So maybe maybe Usher was deleting it for that. Or maybe it was for some other reason that he just don't want no smoke about anything. You follow me? Um, It's just it's just noteworthy to a lot of people that he deleted it. Okay, he deleted it. Oh, what is it? 7,000? Approximately 7,000 posts. And Pink deleted a bunch of posts too. Um, unusual. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you have folks like, what's my time looking like? Uh, you have folks like Soldier Boy who are willing to take it to a completely different level. Okay. Soldier recently posted this. He said, if Diddy ever tried, he said, if Diddy ever tried me like any of these gay rappers, I would have killed his itch ass. Close quote. Hey, look, man, folks try to hate on Soldier Boy. Like, how you hate from outside the club? You can't even get in. I'm like, yo, they must not know about Soldier Boy. And like, they must not know about Soldier Boy history. I know, like, like he, he's funny and a lot of the things he says is funny. You know, a lot of these people are mad entertaining, but that don't mean that they 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 won't murk you if given the opportunity sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Under certain circumstances. He murked his own friend for breaking into his house, didn't he? Didn't he? Okay. He Like, he did. I think he did. I'm almost positive he did. And with his own face, he said, having done that, traumatized him and affected him mentally because he was like, I was too young to murk somebody, be, let alone somebody that I knew that I was cool with. So y'all be thinking the wrong people won't pull the trigger. OK, so look, some folks will hand you an express ticket to hell. Look, the, the, the same ticket you've been trying to get your hands on because they'll be damned. 
to have you do them like you did others and then dance about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That Look, the diddler used to dance at, about his antics. Can you imagine all the people that were victimized by a bro and he's sitting in a video dancing, telling other people to act bad? Look, I'm low key mad the people he victimized ain't turned his kids into orphans. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and the people that defended him. You're like, no, not the kids. Look, of course not the kids. Understand what I'm saying. If you misunderstand what I'm saying, then you need to pay extra close attention or, or bring it back, okay? Listen, I pray that the best thing that can possibly happen to um, his children that are innocent of any of these heinous actions, I pray that no hurt, harm, nor danger happen to the children that are not involved in his antics. And I'm praying that in Jesus name. But let me be clear, okay? Children reap the results of their parents' behavior. That man had power and wealth from heinous things he did to hundreds and maybe even thousands of people. And his children benefited with that wealth, did they not? <laughs> Look, Job, who God considered to be righteous, said, how are we gonna receive good things from God, but not evil? You, you follow what I'm saying? Close quote. Look, he, I said close quote. Well, yeah, I closed quote on, on Job. That's right. I did that. Look, look, think about it, though. You cool with the rain watering your garden, but mad when it floods it? <laughs> you accept the blessings, so you got to take the challenges, too. Okay? The kids happily receive the blessings of his action. Why are they exempt from the other half? Your kids get it. You know what I'm saying? Look, like the no rules guy said in the regular show, there's no rules that say it can't happen from the future to the past anyone can join the party you follow what i'm saying man the blessing party and the tribulation party they the same thing okay they just two sides of the coin and sometimes you might always get heads but every now and then you might could get tails it's the same coin baby you follow me listen um posts are starting to come out right saying that the artist the game seems to have alluded to the idea that the diddler may have been attempting to set up the Canadian artist, Drake, okay? To be murked in LA, back when they was having a beef. Apparently it was taped, this is, what, this is what the game said. He said, him and Diddy were beefing. Quote, this is what he said, quote. Him and Diddy were beefing. There were calls going on around LA, saying Drake's here, Drake's there. Who's gonna run up on him, okay? Uh, now, the game said, the calls did not come directly from Diddy, but you know, you know, you know how it goes. They don't, they wouldn't call, come directly from the diddler. Okay. Uh, now the game says, see, the game seems to have alluded to this situation in the song 100 that he did that features Drake. If you listen to the song, the song starts off, he says, ninjas call me to set you up want me to come wet you up because you were out of town ninja like biggie heard about the ish with diddy so i came through to vest you up and i got a vest for 40 a vest for hush a vest for every ninja with a what is it a owl on his chest and what i got la unified you're better off committing suicide teachers ain't testing us See, I know how it feels to be platinum plus. Ninjas is jealous of you, so they trying to wrap you up, tax you up, but it's over your blood money. Ninjas catch these bullets like he catching the bus, okay? Uh, now notice, the game mentions beefing with Diddy, and he also mentions what happened to Biggie. Now, a lot of people look at what happened to Biggie and connect it to potentially a break off from Diddy. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I, I find that to be relatively fascinating. I think, I think the arms of this situation are extending far further than a lot of people can imagine. And I think a lot of things are going to start coming out the woodwork. And the difficulty is going to be trying to properly connect what is accurate and what is inaccurate. You follow me? Now, um, where we at over here? Let me see what I can pull up here. Uh, the charges. All right, look. The charges from the 14... Four, it's a 14 page indictment a 14 page indictment um this man if he is convicted he's probably gonna be in prison for the rest of his life okay um uh, and i don't know how this gonna play out because 
If he's in prison, right, for the rest of his life, that means that he might be able to do a lot of talking. And if he does a lot of talking, can you imagine the things he might could say? I don't know. Uh, the 14 page indictment, right, um, is probably the most detailed account of what we can see bro has done, okay? Uh, and it says that the overview of the indictment says for decades, Sean Combs, AKA Puff Diddy or P Diddy, whatever you want to call the defendant abused, threatened and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation and conceal his conduct. To do so, Combs relied on the employees, resources and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, ex-trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and, and obstruction of justice, okay? The first charge, as we already told you, racketeering conspiracy. Conspiracy. The maximum sentence for that, life in prison, all right? Uh, uh, rap on Instagram posted, prosecutors alleged that Diddy was the leader and mastermind of a criminal enterprise involving his various businesses since 2008. Many of the companies he no longer owns, but the indictment refers to them as the Combs Enterprise. That's part of charge one, okay? It says uh, Diddy and his associates alleged crimes were carried out to preserve his power Wait, his alleged crimes, my fault. His associates' alleged crimes were carried out to preserve his power, fulfill his desires, and to protect the enterprise from law enforcement, okay? Um, in each of the charges, it seems like the word freak-offs were mentioned. It said he would lure female victims and coerce them into engaging in sexual acts with male sex workers. They occurred regularly and sometimes lasted for days. And it says to ensure victims' participation in the freak offs, he allegedly gave them drugs, controlled their careers, and used violence and intimidation. All right. Now, the second charge. Yeah. Now, we just talked about the two so far sex trafficking right uh a minimum sentence of 15 years okay um it's specific to an unnamed victim one who was transported to various states and forced to engage in commercial sex acts from 2009 to 2018 which is insane okay uh it's speculated that victim one might be cassie ventura right and her lawsuit described freak off similar to the indictment and classified it as x trafficking okay uh, it says, uh, according to the suit, Mr. Combs called these encounters freak offs, which involved costumes like masquerade masks and lingerie. They continued for years, taking place at high end hotels across the United States and Mr. Combs' home. The suit says that he instructed Ms. Ventura to search the websites of escort services to procure, uh, male workers. And the third charge transportation for purposes of prostitution you're like i thought you was only covering two no well it's three um it says the nature of the alleged freak offs involved the transportation of victims and sex work a work is with the intent that they engage in prostitution and since diddy's arrest he's been denied bail twice and pleaded not guilty he remains in custody at the uh, mdc uh, metropolitan detention center in brooklyn and he's currently awaiting trial Okay, uh, that's that's what we have on that, man. That, and you know, it's going to get real hairy, man. I meant to go over the indictment, but I still ain't going over it yet. Because there's always something that comes out every single day. It'd be hard to do it. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to my shout outs real quick. Who we, who we have on deck? All right, all right here we go. Uh, shout out to uh, Smooth, look, Smooth Brother. Smooth Brother says, Celeb. The only 5'9 player on the Cowboys is I, 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 Smooth Brother. I, I kind of didn't want to know. Okay. <laughs> but I understand what you said. I, thank you for giving it to some of the people I didn't want to know. All right. Some of y'all like, what you talk about? Uh, if you saw yesterday's video, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Jose Greer. My man Jose Greer said, yo, the audacity. He said, the audacity of someone to ask you to stop talking about Jesus. The problem with your response to them, it was too nice. I was thoroughly offended by such a request. That's what I'm saying, Jose. Yeah, I try to, look, I try to behave myself, man. Because, you know what I mean? I ain't want to be abusive to folks. Uh, <laughs> appreciate you, man. Look, uh, NYK uh, Clean Boy. My man said, yo, heat activates the e-pill and liquor he did it <laughs> hey look look i didn't know that thank you for letting us know 
Jen B. Jen B said, shout out to Jen B. She said, hey, Celeb, long time subscriber, first time commented. All right, what you got, Jen? She said, um, I just have to say something. The comment left about you talking about God on your own channel, shaking my head. She said, you should never have to compromise when it comes to believing in who or what you want to believe in. This country is based on freedom of religion and press. Exactly. Thank you, Jen B. It's not freedom from religion. It's freedom of religion. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Jen B. Keep going. She said, being politically correct has no merit when it comes to religion. I pray nothing but blessings and prosperity to you and your channel. Keep up uh, proclaiming this good work. I appreciate that, man. And everybody else that agrees with Jen B, man, put a thumbs up or what have you in the, in the comments below. I do appreciate that, man. That does mean a lot. Uh, Nicholas. Nicholas Dean said, yo, following your passion and keep doing you, bro. Black TMZ. <laughs> yeah, they called me Black TMZ yesterday, man. Appreciate that, Nick. Uh, um... All right, all right, let me see who else we got. Paula Collins. She said, unfortunately, we have to lose you, brother. Oh, she talking about the, the person, Alik. Jo was it Alik Johnson? I forgot the name. Alik. She said, unfortunately, we're going to have to lose you, Alik. But, uh, brother, on this side of our family, we praise God and no one else. Thank you, Celeb, for your journey with the <laughs> with the Black TMZ. Everybody love the Black TMZ. That was, look, we ain't no Black TMZ. We better. Listen, uh, look, Cisco the Last Dragon. I'm talking Cisco, you know, Drew Hill Cisco. You follow what I'm saying, man? My man shows up in the comments every now and then, man, and I do appreciate it. My man said, hey, yo. He said, I got friends of all denominations, and I respect anyone's right to believe in whatever they want to believe in. With that being said, the word states, go therefore and teach all nations. And Celeb is doing exactly that. His obedience to the Almighty is inspiring, man. Keep up the good work, y'all. I appreciate that, man. And um, um, it is an honor. It is an absolute honor to be able to inspire a lot of folks into um, living out their faith boldly. You follow me? Um, and, and mind you, even though you can't see me here, I mean, I do it at my job. I do it on a daily basis. Anybody I interact with, I do it boldly without fear, man, because you know what I'm saying? I used to, like, I used to get on the trains in New York and I used to preach on the trains, man. And I would be scared when I did it, but that's the difference between bravery and um, cowardice, man. You know what I'm saying? When you are relatively brave, you're going to do something, even if you're scared, you follow me. And, and that is, um, that's a, that's a character trait that God wants to have us, wants us to have man bravery and proclaiming his word man you know what i'm saying cedric lust hit us with the 10 10 bucks man my man said yo man f them mother lovers man he said yo don't change for nobody because once you do that then you're definitely not you that's what's wrong with a lot of celebrities they want to please and be somebody that they're not and that's why most of them are compromised now but please keep doing you that's what helped us gravitate towards the channel and notice i said a lot of celebrities um he said, that's right, because you're definitely moving to... No, 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 no. We're not trying to be a celebrity. Uh, but I appreciate you, though. Uh, Linda Linda said... Um Oh, man, look, I appreciate that. Linda said, yo, you got one of the best shows on the web, in my opinion. A perfect blend of celebrity, lifestyle, morality. It takes courage to be an angel walking past demons. I salute you, man. I love you for that, Linda. Uh, Greta Berry, um, shout out to her. She said, I look forward to listening to the Bible verses, man. You have me reading the book of Proverbs. One day you said you want wisdom. Read the book of Proverbs. I've been reading the verses ever since. Key quote in the Bible. We in need of moral stability. Real talk. And lastly, Coco Loco, man. Always showing up in the building, man. He's always like either one, two, or three. Okay, one, two, or three. Uh, my man says, Celeb, I appreciate you, little big bro. <laughs> he said, praise the Lord, man. Yeah, 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 shout out to you. And lastly, lastly, yeah, long shout out session, but the, you know, the video is for y'all, okay? The video is for y'all. We talk about what the celebrities are saying out loud, but this is for y'all. So we, our shout out sections could be long too. Renegade. Renegade hit us with the 10. You know what I'm saying? 10 bucks. She said, hey, Celeb, I've been watching, busy with the kids in school. You know, I appreciate the commentary on God and everything else, man. Um, no, no, she said, I appreciate your commentary on God. At first, I thought she was saying on God, I appreciate it. But she said, I appreciate your commentary on God and everything else. Keep up the great work. Um, I appreciate that, man. Much love to you. Thank you for the 10. Thank you for the 10. All right, look, 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 look. let's wrap this bad boy up, man. And finally, I just had to read. I just had to go through those um, because, you know, when that person said, yo, keep your beliefs to yourself. I mean, you know, I was like, I definitely ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I know it does benefit a lot of people. I think part of the issue is that a lot of us have a faith, but a lot of us don't know how to um, live that faith out, uh, uh, like and apply it to our everyday lives, man. And just by hearing and seeing what these artists are talking about and how they're speaking about culture, we can still um, figure out based off of what they're saying, how to apply our life 
to what they said you follow me um and that's just what it is man and that's what we got to do because once you get off of youtube or whatever you, you walk out your house when you step away from the church you got to live in you got to live in this world where there's all kinds of insanity happen so how do we do it man you know what i mean and we just trying to provide you with the principles and the rules and the and the um and the the wisdom to be able to apply your faith in your everyday life in the midst of everything that we see happening now uh boosie okay um let me let me tell you man boosie got a warrant out for his arrest okay the artist boosie um according to uh, there's an arrest warrant affidavit all right it says torrent hatch that's uh boosie right is facing a charge of theft uh, of service greater than or equal to $2,500 and less than 30000 okay? The charge is related to a June incident in which um, uh, Torrance Hatch, Boosie, allegedly did not pay for chauffeur services that were provided to him over a few days. The charge was filed on August 29th, okay? Um, I'm sure he's gonna, I'm, I'm hoping and sure that he's gonna take care of whatever he didn't pay for because why would you want a warrant out for your arrest? That man's been doing his damnedest to try to stay out of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay out of the cell. And it's like everything keeps trying to get him back in there. You know what I mean? Um, but look, to me, <laughs> the bullseye that's on a ninja's back when he when he has a little bit of money is astounding, man. Now, let me throw this out here. And, and I don't know if this applies to Boosie or not. But answer me this. If wealth is your tower of defense, how do people destroy your defenses? You follow me? Like when wealth is the tower, that's what people are going to attack. You know what I mean? And, and they're going to try to hit you in the pockets. A lot of people have money protecting them. And a lot of people, and this, I'm not, I'm no longer talking about the Boosie situation. I'm just letting you know he got that warrant out for this. So if, if Boosie don't know, let him know. Yo, man, take care of this ASAP so that you don't have to get all locked up or what have you. Okay. Um, but, but real talk, a lot of people believe that their money is what saves them from you follow me the like from their from the consequences of their heinous behavior and i think a lot of people need to know asap that your money cannot protect you when you harm other people you follow me let us know your thoughts in the comments below man be sure to like be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source for celeb news